Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Fears. Today I'm with my best friend, Jaden. And today we are going to be going crabbing out of Garden City on the boardwalk to catch food crabs. The Garden City Marsh Boardwalk is located on Atlantic Avenue in Garden City, South Carolina. This location is a great place for both beginner and veteran crabbers. The best time to crab at this boardwalk is a few hours after high tide. As the tide transitions to low tide, water from the north end of Garden City will funnel the crabs right underneath the bridge and washwalk, making it a perfect spot to catch them. On the southern side of the marsh walk is a big sandbar that directs crabs to the left into a canal or south straight into the inlet. At this spot, crabs are forced to go one way or the other. Although either spot is great for crabbing, today we are fishing off of the walkway. Two little ones. Crabs often live in dark or muddy areas, which can make it difficult to find their meal by eyesight. Crabs rely on the sense of smell to find their meal. Crabs have chemoreceptors that allow them to detect chemicals in the water that are released by their prey. These chemoreceptors are located on the crab's antenna. These are long segmented appendages near the crab's eyes that have both chemoreceptors and allow them to feel its surroundings. Crabs also have antennula, shorter antenna-like appendages near the antennas that allow them to sense their environment. A crab can taste using hairs on its mouth parts, pinchers, and even its feet. Crabs have pretty well developed senses of taste and smell that help them find your bait. If you leave your bait long enough in one location, the crabs will surely find it. As the bait sits on the trap or on your string, the smell of the bait will drift out into the water, attracting hungry crabs. In a slow moving current, crabs have no problems to following your scent trail up to 100 yards away. That's why it's so important that once you pick a crabbing location that you stick with the same location. Often crabbers want to pick up and move locations thinking they can find the crabs. This is the biggest mistake a crabber can make while crabbing by moving locations. Crabs will come to you. You do not need to try to locate the crabs. Each time you pull up your bait trap, you are breaking the scent trail that crabs are following to come to your bait. Stay in one location. The longer you stay in one location, the more crabs that will arrive to your bait. It's simple to get started catching blue crabs. Most of the items that you need, you might have around your house. No license is required in South Carolina as long as you use three traps per person, which include hand lines, drop door traps, and drop rings. If you don't have a trap, you can still catch crabs without one. 
Hand lining is a simple way to catch crabs where you use a simple drop line which is nothing more than some cotton string or a line with a piece of bait tied to the end with a small weight. Blue crabs typically like bait such as fish heads, raw chicken necks, and as you see in this video we are using drumsticks for bait. Other items you may want to bring is a long handed dip net to scoop your crabs out of the water, a ruler to measure the crabs. At the time of this video, you can only keep crabs that are 5 inches across from spine to spine. Be sure to throw back any females that have eggs as you cannot keep them. Bring along a large bucket to store your catch in while you're crabbing. Do not put water in the bucket, the crabs can breathe with no water. If you're afraid of getting pinched, consider purchasing tongs or bringing some type of heavy glove. We picked up all of our supplies at the local Walmart. The net cost about $5 and the tong cost about $5. You could also get cloth nets for about $2.50. Oh yeah, you got a big one in there, bro. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, you got a nice one. That's a keeper. First time it had paint. That's a big one there. That's Bigger than the other one we had. It's a male. It's got big sleeves. Is that a big one? Slow man, I get it. Hey, he's doing the small dance. That's painful. Hey, watch out. You get him, dude. You got that big long claw. That's <laughs> scary. He ain't going to bite you. Grab him with it. You got He's it? He's trying so hard. Alright, you got it. Let's measure and make sure. Yeah, it's thick. Alright, For more information pertaining to blue crabs, please check out the Facebook page 843 Crab Life. We love blue crabs in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Got a little one in there. Something in there. What is that? A puffer fish.
Alright, yeah. That's a keeper. Yeah, that'd be a keeper right there. Let me make sure. Let me get my, get my tape measure on it. Sure. Hey, you trying to talk back? Tape. It's safe, though. female and male crabs by looking at their claws. Females have red claws which they call lipstick and the male has a penis shape on its belly. Crabs are measured from point to point. In South Carolina, in order to keep one of these, you have to be five inches from point to point. He's like six. Is he not even big enough? Oh yeah, he's big enough. Yep. He's big enough, right? Like five and a half. Dad, you didn't go to He's not five either. Yes, he is. I promise she's not. Dude, you didn't even go to it. You went and bought it. You gotta go from there, that point, to that point. If you got them two points right there, it's a little less than five, see? It's four and seven eighths. Keep going back. Don't, don't throw him like that, man. Just drop him in. He was huge. He was big. 
big one. I figured, I, I knew them two were big enough, but I guess they wasn't. Put it back in there, bro. You gotta go by what the law says, so you won't get no fines. No, you didn't kill him. Alright. Take up the dick line. Yup. Yep, got some more in there. That's definitely. Let's see. We got two shrimp. We got two on this one. It has to be. Oh, yeah. He looks like he probably will make it. We'll have, to, we'll have to put the ruler on him and see. Now, perfect. You see, I don't, know. Get out I, don't, I don't think he's going to make it here today. Is he? Is he? Nope. He's the same size all the mother was like a quarter inch too short. sure to check out our description page below. This page gives you a brief description of the video you are watching along with the fishing gear used during the filming of this video. Click onto the show more link to view all of this information. I want to thank you for watching our videos and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to our channel to get notifications as to when our new videos are available. Meanwhile, here are a few more videos that I think you will like.